Issues and Problems in Requirements Elicitation Before digging into the various requirements elicitation techniques, we must understand that requirements elicitation is not as easy as many think. It is your role to make the client speak out. There are many challenges with requirements elicitation. For example, your client may not know exactly what the problem is. He might feel there is something wrong, but he cannot point it out. Some clients are not talkative by nature or cannot express their thoughts. Others may fear sharing information they consider confidential or hold them accountable for whatever they say. We should recognize and appreciate the users as domain experts. That's why we should always try different elicitation techniques with them. Imagine working with a client who knows nothing about computers or software systems. It will be difficult for him to visualize his needs. There will be a lot of wishful thinking and impractical expectations from the stakeholders leading to non-realizable requirements. In the 80s, one customer asked me to consider voice recognition to activate commands in an account system because he hated typing. The problem was that voice recognition as the technology was not invented yet back then. On the contrary, if your client is an expert in his field, he might skip some information thinking that it is obvious enough. Quote unquote, it goes without saying. For example, if you ask a developer about his job, what do you do as a developer? He answers, I write the code and then I run it. After that, I try to fix any errors arising by updating the code. Suppose you are not a developer and do not know about the development process. In that case, you will not notice that he skipped two steps before running the code. Compiling and linking. Why did he skip them? Because for a developer, this goes without saying. The same can happen with a banker, who might not mention that a specific document must be signed by a specific manager while proceeding through its cycle. As for the banker, signing the document by its concerned manager is definitely a basic concept goes without saying. Another major obstacle you may face can be language diversity. There is a communication gap between analysts and stakeholders. They speak two different languages. Analysts speak programming language, where stakeholders use technical jargon like medical terms. Many words have different meanings. The soldier decided to desert his dessert in the desert. Words can have different meanings between countries or cultures like kiss. We all know what kiss means, but if you are in Sweden and you said to a girl, I want to kiss, that means you want to pee. Can you figure out an example of a word with different meanings? Culture also can make a problem. In the United States, decimal points are represented by a period, and a thousand separators are represented by a comma. In Germany, the decimal point is represented by a comma, and a thousand separators by a period. If a user in Germany is looking at a price listed in dollars, it'll be confusing to know the exact price. Another issue with requirements elicitation is when the user tells you the solution to his problems, not the problem itself. He saw some sort of software and he thought, yeah, this feature will get my job done. Telling you the solution and not knowing the root problem might restrict you from designing the best solution to the real problem. Back to requirements elicitation. I faced a customer who got bored from the meeting and the questions. Many times he would miss an appointment or leave early for another meeting. Such meetings became a heavy load on her. Meetings turned out to be a painful, drawn-out and thankless job. As I mentioned in a previous story, you could have picked the wrong stakeholders and maybe failed to identify the correct stakeholders. Sometimes an influential stakeholder will insist on being in the picture and being the only source of requirements even though he might not know all the information needed. And of course, if the assigned analyst to the project is not experienced or trained enough, she may not capture all the information provided accurately and miss important ones. The book Managing Software Requirements by Dean Leffingwell and Don Widrig mentioned a few challenges during the requirements elicitation process. I will mention a couple of those interesting challenges. The Undiscovered Ruins Syndrome In many ways, the search for requirements is like a search for undiscovered ruins, or, if I say it the Egyptian way, the search for undiscovered mummies. The more you find, the more you know remains. You will never know when to stop looking. 
One way to overcome this syndrome is to identify all the stakeholders of the system. Many of these hidden stakeholders are often holders of otherwise undiscovered requirements. Taking the time to define the problem to be solved by the system helps to scope the requirements elicitation effort early. Employ techniques that help find some of those ruins and have the stakeholders buy in the requirements. Saying that, we also understand that at some point we should be able to say with confidence, we have discovered enough for now, we'll find the rest later. The yes but syndrome. Whenever the users see the system, or even a small part of the system for the first time, their reaction could be, yes, but, hmm, now that I see it, what about this? Wouldn't it be nice? Software is not a physical thing. The user haven't seen the system or anything like it before. They didn't understand what you meant when you described it earlier, and now that it's visible in front of them, it's their first time after a long time to have the opportunity to interact with the system and it is not exactly what they have expected or visualized. That's why the user's reaction, yes but, is simply human nature. Accepting the yes but syndrome as reality may lead to real insights that will help team members mitigate this syndrome in future projects. We should plan for it and employ techniques that get the yes buts out early. And we should anticipate that there will be yes buts and add time and resources to plan for feedback. Software is a complex product. We shouldn't expect to get it right the first time. Techniques like prototyping, modeling, role-playing, and storyboards help get the idea physically to the users. The users can see the early prototypes, touch them, reason about them, and even interact with them well before detailed implementation is complete. Those were some reasons why requirements elicitation is not easy. Your challenge is to make your client speak out and express their thoughts and ensure you grasp them correctly.